Hello everyone and welcome to TW2016 Let's Play of WCW1997 This is episode 8 and this is the Go Home Nitro before Star K1997 I can't wait of course As always Max here <laughs> running us through As you can see our backstage is better Because <laughs> during like the uh Because we're in of course the uh, Monday of week four of December, and uh, when we were at like the day of Christmas, I was like, I'll be a nice guy and give the roster like a bonus, like a five thousand dollar bonus because that's a thing you can do if you like click on someone's morale and just be like, oh, I'll give everyone a bonus. So that's what I did, and as you could see, cleared about everyone who had morale issues but five people. So that's why that is better. So yay. We have a good backstage, uh, and also no backstage incident, literally, for the first time ever in this series. Unbelievable. So, there's that. Uh, we have Davy Boy Smith is now able to wrestle, but he's not going to wrestle tonight. Uh, that'll probably be down the road, maybe the next Nitro, maybe even that Saturday night. On TBS show, who knows? But uh, without further ado, let's run the show, boys. Let me just save that. And here, oh, actually, hold on. Before we do that, let's change the venue here. I didn't get to do that yet. Uh, yeah, let's go southeast, boys. Nah, actually, hmm. Let's go New England, boys. We'll go into enemy territory here. Uh, yeah, we'll go Boston Garden, boys. Alright. Here we go, run this show. And here we just have the opening of Nitro with uh, the hype up of, of course, the Starcade 97 main event. Which, oh man, got the 77. Also hyping up the debuting Bret Hart. He's here. <laughs> he is here in the Boston Garden. He's going to take on Savage in the main event. Cannot wait for that. And, oh, Tony Schiavone underperformed and Mike Tanay looked lost out there. Unbelievable. Here we see Big Hogan, boys. Big promo. Shit on Sting. Awesome. And this match, opening up the show, Chris Jericho versus Eddie Guerrero. I uh, believe this was for the Cruiserweight title, but also, I forgot Jericho is uh, too big <laughs> now. I think he's a middleweight. And, uh, of course, back then in WCW in 97, it was, like, legit. Uh, well, that's weird, because it wasn't that... Yeah, that's all weird, but... Jericho got jacked in the real in this uh, TEW series. So, well, that's fine. Um, Eddie Guerrero, what happened was, like, Jericho, like, went for a big move. And, like, he irate him, and he just rolled out of the ring and, like, walked out. And he's like, I'm not doing this. So that match happened. It was 79, though. Um, look, Obviously, look for that in the future. Eddie Guerrero, Chris Jericho. I mean, why not? And, oh, skip too fast. But that was a DDP challenging uh, Kurt Henning for Star K97. And here we see just Steve McMichael beating Barbarian. Which, uh, not enough selling. This was a wild brawl. And they have great chemistry, so that's good. Barbarian, 66 boys. And here's just a, uh, one of those NWO paid announcements, you know, on, uh, this one's shitting on Bret Hart, though. So there's that. And then this match, <laughs> uh, Ultimo Dragon versus, and Rey Mysterio Jr. versus Juventud and Silver King. Now, this match happened last week, but instead of Psychosis, it's Silver King, and again, Silver King. The third, <laughs> the fourth man is the Wink Lake. So that sucks. We need to find the fourth person to throw into that match. Maybe Chavo Guerrero Jr. And this match happened. Benoit versus Van Hammer, 73. Benoit beats him. Submission, just to kind of him running through the flock again. And then this match, and this uh, angle. Uh, basically, it's like a shot of like the announcers on their little set. And then, like, NWO just kind of, like, run them off the, the set and say, you know, we're here to take over now. We're, th from now on, <laughs> from this night, or, uh, from this moment on forward, this is going to be an NWO uh, announcers. We're going to have Bischoff, 
Hogan and Rick Rude as our commentators for the rest of the evening. So there's that to look forward to. Uh, this segment went pretty long, if I remember. Yeah, it went 12 minutes. Like, they, they kind of took their nice sweet time. Like, they spray painted, like, NWO on the front. And it's a big deal. Big gimmick, boys. But 92, awesome. Awesome, awesome. This match, I figured this match would be pretty good, but... Ooh. Oh, well, they have good chemistry, though, so that's good. Rick Steiner, uh, Scott Owen. The announcers, hopefully they didn't bring this down. Uh, can we look at the dirt sheet, boys? Ooh, yeah. So that match probably would have been better if it wasn't for the new announcers gimmick. And then there's just the David Boy Smith hype promo. Just, you know, like a vignette, like, coming soon, and, like, with British kind of music in the background. And then this match, Kurt Henning versus Disco Inferno, just figured give Kurt a nice little quick win there. Um, also, you know, of course, figured it would make sense to have the NWO guys commentate over an NWO match. But did I change the announcers, though? I don't know if I did. Oh, yep, I did. Okay. But this time it was Conan out there. Uh... And then just to figure, nice little squash match for uh, Harlem Heat. Get a nice win going. Get a 62, why not? And this match, I figure this match would be pretty good. Luger versus Conan, WCW versus NWO. Oh, wow, Bischoff and Rick Rude kind of fell apart. That sucked. But hey, you still got a 70. Uh, why did this advance the Hogan Sting storyline, though? That's, hmm, that's weird. Uh, but, uh, Lex Luger went to the torture rack, ten minutes in. And then, as the bell sounds, the, the end of it hit the ring, but this time Lex Luger fights them all off. So, yay for WCW. Got the 76, too, uh, good to see. And then just a hype video for Savage, Bret Hart. Uh, I want to say, was this the, might have been the first time ever this was happened? I highly doubt that. Because I'm trying to think of, like, the timelines of these two. Because, like, obviously the new generation moment, like, Savage was on commentary. But he, they might have faced off when, like, Bret Hart was in the Hart Foundation or, like, a house show. I, I doubt it. I doubt it was on TV. Let's see how it does, though. 81, that's fine. That's fine as well. And uh, I figured I didn't want to write this in as an angle, but, like, because of the NWO getting beat down, like, uh, Bischoff... And uh, Kevin Nash and all those guys kind of left. They're like, ah, oh, this is crap, man. You're like, we got screwed. But um, so the, the regular announcers were back for the main event. Got it. Wow, Savage got a 91. Holy shit. Bret Hart get, did worse than that. I, that's surprising. Uh, also, uh, Scott Hall did a run in and like attack Bret Hart. And he figured that was the uh, the finish. Like Savage would go for the elbow drop and hit it. But he, you know, hard rolled out of the way. Hooked the sharpshooter, got the win. Phenomenal stuff. And then, the NWO, they start to do a uh, beatdown on Brett, but out comes DDP, Lex Luger, and the Giant. They fend off the NWO. WCW is standing tall to close off the show. What a, just, I figured that'd be a great, like, go-home segment. To just be like, oh, man, we can't wait for Starcade. The announcers are probably going crazy because <laughs> WCW is finally looking strong. And what a, what a segment. I mean, we had a couple of great uh, segments throughout the show. Let's see how it went. Awesome. 85. Definitely our best show. Uh, definitely the backstage killed us that, those first three months. We probably should have done that from the beginning. Just gave, like, people bonuses. But, uh, hey, now we, we got it. Shows increased popularity. I would like to see WWF do a better show than us, finally. I would like to see them. We finally do a better show than them what i'm hoping for but hopefully you guys enjoyed episode eight what a show that was we'll see you next time for episode nine for wcw on saturday night on tbs and then of course the big event star k 97 for episode 10 cannot wait we'll see you guys there